Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to take a closer look at the parabola from the basic definition that a parabola can be found. It's the set of points, or is the set of all points, in a plane that is equidistant from a fixed point in the plane, not on the line, and a fixed line, the directrix. So what does that mean? Well, let's, we have an x-y axis right here. Let's say we have some sort of parabola where the vertex is at the origin. And we draw a line below that, parallel to the x-axis, we call that the directrix. And the directrix is a distance p away from the horizontal x-axis. So we can say, therefore, that the directrix can be written by the equation y equals minus p. And then on the other side, we have a fixed point on the, on the axis right here that goes right through the vertex. And that point is a distance p above the origin, so that the distance from there to there is equal to the distance from there to there. It doesn't quite look like it, because I didn't quite draw it quite correct, but just assume that this distance is the same as this distance. Okay, now, what that means is that you can pick any point on the parabola, and from any point on the parabola, the distance to this point right here, the focus, must therefore be equal to distance from there to the directrix. So it doesn't matter where on the parabola you go, you go over here, the distance from there to the focus should be equal to the distance from there to the directrix. Here as well, the distance from there to the focus should be equal to the distance from there to the directrix and so forth. So any point on the parabola, the distance to the focus is the same as the distance to the directrix. So what will be the equation that describes that general parabola right there? Now, it's not quite a general parabola because we have very specifically put the vertex on, on the origin. Later on, we'll show you how we can morph that equation, how we can change that equation to where the vertex is anywhere on the xy plane and the equation should come out as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set d1 equals to d2. So d1, by definition, must equal to d2. And now we're going to calculate what d1 is and what d2 is using the distance formula. And of course, the distance d1 is equal to the vertical distance squared plus the horizontal distance squared, and you take the square root of that. So d1 can be written as the square root of the x distance squared, and the x distance from there to there will simply be x, so it would be x minus 0 quantity squared plus the y distance and so the y distance would be the distance y from there to there minus this distance which is p so that would be the distance y minus p quantity squared and that would be the vertical distance from this point to that point all right that should be distance one now this should be equal to the square root of distance two now distance 2 can be found by, let's see here, do we have a horizontal displacement? No, this is a line that goes straight up. So simply we have, uh, we have x, well we have x minus x, so we have x minus x quantity squared. I'll just write it like that, so basically it's going to be 0. And to that we're going to be adding the y distance, which, which is this right here, plus the p distance. So that would be y plus p, y plus p quantity squared. All right, and those two distances, d1, should equal d2. Now let's go ahead and simplify that equation and see what general equation we could come up with, provided that the parabola has the vertex at the origin. All right, so on the left side, we get the square root of x squared plus, and then if we square this out, we get y squared minus 2p times y plus p squared. And that equals the right side, which would be 0. So it would be the square root of 0 plus y squared plus 2py plus p squared. All right, now what we're going to do is square both sides. When we do that, the, the square root symbols goes away and we get x squared plus y squared minus 2py plus p squared is equal to y squared plus 2py plus p squared. Now the fun begins because now we can simplify the, the equation. We see a y squared on the left side, a y squared on the right side, so that cancels out. We see a p squared and a p squared, that cancels out. And now all we have to do is move this term to the left side, and so we have x squared is equal to 2py plus another 2py, because when we move the minus 2py to the right side, it becomes a plus 2, 2py, so we get 4py. And that then becomes the general equation of a parabola Considering we use as a definition that any point of the problem must be equidistant away from the fixed point right there and the directrix down here. And so in this case, we can say that x squared equals 4py is the general equation of a parabola with the parabola with the vertex right there at the origin. And that's how we do that.